In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer the 2023 Maths Method Sample Exam 2 Extended Response Question 1. We've got the function g is defined as follows. Sketch the graph of g on the axis below. Label the vertical asymptote with its equation and label any actual intercepts, stationary points and endpoints in coordinate form correct to three decimal places. Looking at the rule of g of x, we can see that the first term is 3 times log e of x. This straight away tells us that there's going to be a vertical asymptote at the line x is equal to 0, since log e of 0 is undefined. And so let's mark this on the graph. Now to sketch the graph of g of x, we need to use the Cas calculator. And so we'll need to define this function. And now going to the graphing page, This is going to be the graph of g of x. We can change the window settings to match or be similar to the one we've been given. This is now going to give us a better view of the graph. Now we want the x-intercept, the turning point and the end point correct to three decimal places. And the easiest way to get this is to use the analyze graph function and then go to zero for the x-intercepts. So we want the lower bound and the upper bound, and that's going to give us the first x-intercept. But this is correct to two decimal places, and we need it for three decimal places. And so what you can do is just go to Menu, Settings, and then go to Display Digits, and then select Float 4, and then OK. This is now going to give us the x-intercept correct to three decimal places. And so from here, we can mark this x-intercept on the graph. And now for the second x-intercept, we do the same thing. Go to Analyze Graph, 0, and then choose the upper and the lower bound. And so this is going to be at 4.536. And so marking this on the graph in coordinate form, we can now work out the coordinates of the stationary point. And so to do this, go to Analyze Graph and then go to Maximum and then choose the lower and the upper bound. And this is going to be at 3 and 0 0.296. And so marking this on the graph. And finally, we need the coordinates of the endpoint. To find this, we need to go to the calculator page and then evaluate G of 7. And so correct to three decimal places, the y coordinate is going to be minus 1.162. And so let's mark this on the graph. And finally, we just sketch this graph passing through these points. Part B. Find the equation of the tangent to the graph of g at the point where x is equal to 1. To find the equation of the tangent line, we can use the tangent line command in the calculator. For this, we need to enter in g of x and then comma x and then comma 1. And so the equation is going to be y is equal to 2x minus 3. Part 2. Sketch the graph of the tangent to the graph of g at x is equal to 1 on the axis in part a. To sketch the tangent line, we need to have two points on the graph. The x-intercept is going to be at x is equal to 3 on 2, which is the same as 1 and a half. And using the point x is equal to 1, the y coordinate is going to be 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 3, which is going to equal minus 1. And so marking these two points on the graph, we can now connect the dots and sketch the tangent line on the graph. Newton's method is used to find an approximate x-intercept of g with an initial estimate of x0 equals 1. Find the value of x1. To find the value of x1, we can use Newton's method's formula. Or an easier way is to realize that the value of x1 is going to equal the x-intercept of the tangent line at x0, where x0 is equal to 1. And we worked out that the equation of this tangent line is equal to 2x minus 3. And so the x-intercept of this tangent line is going to be x is equal to 3 on 2. And so this means the value of x1 is going to equal 3 on 2. Find the horizontal distance between x3 and the closest x-intercept of g correct to four decimal places. To find the value of x3, we need to use Newton's formula and repeat this formula three times where the starting point is going to be x0 is equal to 1. But a faster way to find x3 is to define this function, and let's call this function n of x, as x minus g of x over g dash of x. And the value of x3 is then going to be this function nested three times. In other words, we want n of n of, and then the starting point n of 1. This is going to give us the value of x3 in one go. And so, defining n of x in the calculator, we 
we now want to work out n of n of and then n of 1. And since we want a decimal and sum, we need to write 1 in decimal form. And so the value of x3 is going to equal 1.85. And so this estimate is closest to the first x-intercept of g of x, which we worked out in part a of this question, and it was 1.857. But we need the answer to be correct to four decimal places, and you should always round off the answer right at the end. And so what we're going to do is let g of x equal 0 and then solve for x to give us the x-intercepts. And so solving for x, we're going to get the two x-intercepts. And so the horizontal distance between x3 and the x-intercept is going to be the x-intercept minus x3. And so correct to four decimal places, this is going to be 0 0.0036. Find the value of k where k is larger than 1 such that an initial estimate of x0 equals k gives the same value of x1 as found in part c. Give your answer correct to three decimal places. Using Newton's formula, the value of x1 is equal to x0 minus g of x0 over g dash of x0. We worked out that x1 is equal to 3 on 2, and so this means that 3 on 2 is going to equal x0 where x0 is going to equal k, and so this is going to be k minus g of k over g dash of k. This is the same as saying n of k. From here we set up n of k is equal to 3 on 2, and then solve for k. And now solving for k. Now we're told that the value of k is larger than 1, and so we need to say given that k is larger than 1. And so the value of k, correct to three decimal places, is going to be 2.397. Using this value of k, sketch the tangent of the graph of g at the point where x equals k on the axis in part a. The value of k we worked out to be 2.397. And so this is going to be the value of x0, meaning where the tangent to the graph of g of x is going to be. We use the value x1 is equal to 3 on 2. And so this means that the x-intercept of this tangent line is going to be at x is equal to 3 on 2. We now have two points on the line, and so we can sketch this tangent line passing through these two points. And that's it for this question. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, give it a thumbs up or comment below and let me know. And if you want to watch and learn how to answer past maths methods exam questions, then join the Maths Methods Club, where you can watch video solutions to past exam questions from 2006, where all the questions are grouped by topic.